Going to do a quick video of some water jet etching on some 3 16 thick aluminum. Uh, some people call it engraving, some people call it etching, but um, it's going to be on low pressure so that it doesn't actually cut all the way through the material. Uh, what I've got drawn up for this is uh, a welcome sign. It's going to be about 12 inches across and it's of a mallard duck and if you see some of the small lines in there and the wings and the eyeball and and parts of the beak they're going to be the parts that get um, etched and then the rest of it as well as the lettering is all going to be cut out so to get this started what I'm going to do there's the actual design on the um, the CNC screen um, I'll move this over to the start point and then I'll begin machine and I'll hit continue we'll see how this goes What I'm doing with the water is kind of keeping the excess garnet washed off of the material as well as when you're doing etching since the water stream is under a lot of pressure it makes a little bit of heat and if you're cutting with the water jet where that stream goes all the way through the material this water tank absorbs all the heat well when you're when you're etching that heat can build up in the material a little bit and it's good to kind of spray a little cool water on it every once in a while to keep the material from possibly what to bow up because if it bows on you you're probably going to have a place where the nozzle comes in contact with your material and when it goes to fire, there's a good chance of it plugging the nozzle up. And the settings I've got for this, um, I'm I'm actually doing this low pressure etching at 15,000 psi, and then I've got my um, the cutting is going to be at 40 at 45,000.
as you hear it, it's ramped up to the, the higher pressure setting. So we've obviously got all of the etching is, is completed. Now we're actually on the uh, welcome part where we're cutting the letters out. And I don't know if you can see this or not. There's a crosshair right down there on the W. And that shows where the machine's at in relationship to the, the pattern. And what it's going to do is do the, the lettering and then it's going to come up here to the top and cut out the left side uh, around the duck. And it's going to go cut the right side out and it's going to go cut around the oval and shut off. Since it's cutting here, um, I'll let it. You can kind of see where the etching has been put into the, the wing part of it, but I'll uh, I'll get this done and get it cleaned up, and then show you the the final part of what it looks like. it's completely cut and let me remove a piece of this so I can get it out and this is what it's going to look like uh, when it's finished and then let me get this dried off and I'll buff it and then I'll show you what it looks like um, after it's completely finished. Okay here's the finished sign after I got it buffed with a drum wheel. Um, here's the picture once again of the, the actual pattern that I used on paper and then here's the sign and then I'll zoom in here a little bit closer so you can see what that um, low pressure etching looks like and what it can do and I, I've used this a thousand times uh, works great on little details uh, wildlife scenes uh, muscle tone uh, feathers you can do uh, just about anything you can think of and the good thing about it by using the etch instead of the cut if you imagine having all of these as actual cuts where they're going all the way through the material um, a lot of things will just basically cut itself apart um, if you look at the this little line here across its beak if that was a cut I mean it would have cut the beak off completely so it, it works great on on artwork as well as um, you can use that low pressure etching uh, doing part numbers and putting names on things for uh, industrial applications too uh, works really well. So thanks for watching.